In this presentation, I'm going to answer internet's burning questions about product management. I'm going to start with a simple search. And here we are, the top 10 most frequently asked questions about product management. My name is Arvind, and I've been at the intersection of business, technology, and design for the last 15 years. I have managed SaaS applications, services, and multi-million dollar global programs for several Fortune 100 companies. Currently, I am leading the global product strategy for Microsoft Teams, embeddable experiences across Microsoft first party apps. Feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com slash Arvindatta. Let's dive right in. Is product management a good career? Yes, it is. As I think of career choices, there are three dimensions to it. Product management pays well, and uh, here in the North America, starting salary for product managers can be in the six-figure range. You can look at several benchmarking studies on Glassdoor or LinkedIn, uh, and uh, product management salaries will be pretty high up there, I think, in most countries. Secondly, as I think of uh, what's a good career, I think of uh, whether it has the potential to grow and evolve. And product management is at that inflection point where the entire digital curve is just going to take off. In the last two years, we have seen pretty much every aspect of our personal life and work has gone remote, and we are going to be in this hybrid slash remote work, which needs technology to support that to make happen. And you, we need product managers to essentially manage these technologies. And finally, product management is also reporting. There are leadership opportunities, not just to lead your product roadmap, but also essentially lead through influence uh, your partner teams, your dev team, your design team. You have to be essentially uh, a leader who's uh, providing clarity and direction. So it is pretty rewarding in that sense where uh, you get to not only work with uh, different people where you are constantly learning, but you're also seeing the impact of the work that you're doing. Is product management stressful? Like any other job, there are highs and lows in product management. And uh, the way I think about stress is as long as you're able to manage it, then you should be fine. Uh, there are um, essentially few things I want to highlight here. Firstly, as a product manager, if you can anticipate what's coming next and you can plan ahead, then that will give you much more control of the situation. And uh, this is something uh, that you also have to manage through prioritization. At any given time, a product manager is you know, managing a bunch of, uh, bunch of items that you're juggling between uh, various teams uh, and uh, various tasks that you have to accomplish. And what is super important is to make sure you work on what what's important right now. And likewise, you have to provide clarity to the, your extended teams, your management, and to your direct teams uh, in terms of uh, what we are doing now, what is important, and what is also not important that we are going to uh, you know, wait until we finish our current milestones, uh, which is also related to managing expectations uh, across your broad team. And uh, most importantly, building trust, because as a product manager, there are several things that you have to accomplish and then you can't do everything by yourself. So you will have to rely on others. Uh, for example, in, in my role uh, as, uh, as a product manager for Microsoft Teams for embeddable experiences, I have to work with other teams where I have to engage with other product managers, other dev teams. And uh, the only way this can happen is if we have mutual understanding of, uh, of uh, what is the common goal and uh, how we are going to accomplish it. And this is, and it's all set on the foundation of trust. Is product management a good career? Reddit. So I did look up some articles on Reddit and uh, I highly recommend that you also check out uh, the thread called product management uh, in Reddit and you will see some very candid perspectives uh, from various product managers. I will say that, you know, a lot of times these tend to be somebody's personal experiences, so they may not generally represent the overall product management field, but it does give you uh, a point of view on what other product managers are facing. Is product management right for me? Uh, yes, it is if you are a curious person. As a product manager, one of the most important skills you need to have is curiosity. You have to be curious about your customers, 
their their pain points what are their challenges you also have to be curious about the technology your product and how your team is working what are their pain points so uh, that is i think one of the most critical things here and if you are that person then yes product management is a great fit for you the second thing that i want to bring up here is product management is a field where you have to constantly manage a broad set of things so if you're someone who enjoys that breadth of experience rather than you know really going deep into something uh, then again it's a great place for you most product managers are trying to uh, trying to manage multiple things and uh, in many cases you may not be an expert of everything that's not possible you will have to rely on others to get the job done and partner with them but you do have to have some basic understanding of how it works so you have to have uh, the mindset of uh, you know willing to learn and uh, basically jump on new things as they come up and finally a product management is also a also a job where uh, you will not have direct authority but rather you will have to uh, work with people constantly where you're influencing them to achieve that common goal so if you are somebody who enjoys uh, working with people if you are social uh, then that is super important uh, this is definitely a role where you have to work with people you know you pretty much can't work by yourself in this role so if if you're curious if, if you like working on broad set of things and you like working with people i think those are the most important things as a product manager and it, it's a great fit for you is product management hard uh, so again the way i think about this is as a product manager there are certain skills you need to have and then again you don't need to be an expert in all of these things but uh, you can work towards it but you do need some hard skills and some soft skills and a few things i want to call out here from hard skill perspective you will have to work with uh, customers and uh, work uh, pretty uh, deep deeply with the data that you have in hand and sometimes you may not have enough data as well so in those in those cases as a product manager you will have to take decisions given whatever timelines and whatever data is at hand um, so that's an important skill you know if it's something you want to get started on i would highly recommend taking up uh, some introductory courses on data analysis and uh, customer research both qualitative and quantitative side of things as a product manager you also have to manage a project so you are managing pretty much uh, you know your products roadmap you're working with your stakeholders uh, you are managing communication with your uh, executives and your leaders so it does require you to have control on uh, on basically your timelines so that's again an important skill the third thing here i would uh, want to call out is business sense uh, because at the end of the day you know you have to work on products that your business cares about there can there are certain cool technologies that you know you may want to build but ultimately if it is not aligned with your objective key results of your business uh, then you will you will find that you you're not you're not getting enough support enough funding from your leaders you also need to have be curious enough to understand the technology uh, and ultimately uh, you know communication is super important uh, whether it's spec writing or giving presentations to your leaders or your team uh, you have to have the ability to communicate in both written form and uh, and speech form to to make sure everyone has clarity in the team uh, also uh, when i think of soft skills as a product manager uh, the willingness to learn in microsoft it's also called a growth mindset where you're constantly having uh, an open mind to learn new things or have the beginner's mind where you know when you start at a new thing you have a lot of curiosity you're asking a bunch of questions that is very important uh, soft skill that is required as a product manager uh, you also have to stay organized uh, because at any given day, you know, I have to take you know, hundreds and thousands of decisions, and uh, uh, this this can only happen if you're really organized. Otherwise, you are always going to be bombarded with a bunch of other distractions. Uh, and finally, social skills. I cannot I cannot influence enough how important this is. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, people you work with they will not report to you. So the only way uh, you can achieve your common goal is by influencing them by making sure you know you all are on the same page there's clarity there's a common goal um, and uh, working with people ultimately is very very important as a product manager 
is product management stressful reddit yeah so again uh, reddit is a great place to get some uh, candid perspectives uh, but i will say you know when you search uh, in reddit product management stressful as keywords you will see a bunch of articles there were several i found about some useful tools to help you prioritize uh, your day-to-day -day things as a as a product manager which i found really interesting so do check them out is product management certification worth it uh, yes uh, if you are someone who has uh, no experience in product management but you know you could be a student that was just graduated and wanting to get into product management field or maybe you are someone um, who is a dev and who wants to transition within the company as a pm uh, or you could be somebody who's in marketing and now wants to be a pm so if you are in any of those situations where you don't have prior product management experience I think having a certification course really accelerates your learning, uh, which would take several months and maybe years to, to basically gain in the real life. So it does give you uh, learning and also credibility uh, to get into PM role. Uh, I have also seen product managers come from other backgrounds like MBA. If you do, uh, you know, if you go to business school, that's it's also an entry point to become a product manager. manager. Um, and uh, within the company also you can you know start taking up some projects whether it's in the research field or you know whether you're working with the customers or the dev teams that uh, is also a path where you know within the company you can you can incrementally uh, pave your path into product management but uh, you know ultimately do check out product school they have a bunch of interesting courses and a lot of content about uh, uh, product management so if you're if you're somebody who's in that position where you don't have prior experience or who's wanting to accelerate your career, that's a great place to start. Is product management a good career in India? Absolutely, it is. India is a growing economy. Uh, in fact, the growth is exponential, and uh, as we have seen in the last several years, uh, the digital revolution is happening right now uh, in India. And uh, this revolution requires new technologies and new products that need product managers. So yes, it's a great career choice. Uh, the other thing I will also want to call out is government is very supportive of startups. Uh, there are several ways to get funding, uh, resources, whether it's learning, training, or uh, you know, it's infrastructure. Uh, I'm, I know that there are a lot of uh, opportunities available in India to help startups. And finally, big tech. You think of any big company, whether it's Microsoft, Facebook, or Google, they are uh, investing in India. Uh, so, you know, whether you want to start off in a startup environment or whether you want to join big tech, uh, product management is a, is a great career choice. Uh, and I think this is not just relevant for India alone. In any emerging country or whether you are in any part of the world, uh, product management is a role which I think is going to be more and more important. Is product management part of marketing? It could be. In my uh, previous job before Microsoft, I was in a company where the product management role was within the marketing organization. And in Microsoft, product management role is in engineering organization. Uh, you will see titles like uh, PM or PMM, uh, PM product manager, in some places is in Microsoft, for instance, it's program manager. Um, there are product owner titles. And likewise, on the marketing side, there is PMM, which is product marketing manager um, or marketing manager. So essentially, the difference uh, is if you are a PM, then you own the product. And uh, whether you are in the marketing or, or in the engineering or ultimately what is really important in the PM role is being customer centric, uh, you know, having that customer obsession, curiosity about what are the customer's pain points and uh, how are you trying to solve it through your solution. So that's the most important mindset. On the PMM side, product marketing manager side, it is more about now you have a product in the shelf. How do I package it up? How do I make sure my sellers are able to sell it? So it, it's all, you know, um, uh, positioning. Um, uh, packaging in many companies, PMMs are also involved in pricing strategies uh, or you know channel development. So uh, think of it as like PM is somebody who's building the product, and PMM is somebody who's taking a built product, packaging packaging it up, and then making sure that uh, 
the go to market strategy uh, is there so that ultimately we are able to sell the product and reach the right customer is product management the same as project management uh, no it's not uh, again you will see the title of a tpm or a pm uh, a tpm technical program manager or technical project manager you will see this these titles in different companies uh, in different ways but essentially the difference between the pm and the tpm role is that the pm owns why and what which is why are we building a certain feature or a product um, addressing a specific pain point that the customer has and also what exactly are we building in terms of you know what is the mvp of this uh, feature minimum viable product that we are building for this next release while the tpm or the technical project manager or technical program manager owns how and when which is okay now we have a spec uh, how do we build it and what resources are needed uh, you know what uh, what frameworks will we will be used and then when will we release it so that's sort of the high level difference again these are the two wheels of the same vehicle they have to work very closely with each other there is a lot of overlap in many companies but uh, that's essentially the difference so depending on where your interest area lies uh, you will you know both these roles are very good they also overlap a lot so there you go uh, so those were the internet's top 10 most frequently asked questions about product management uh, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn at uh, linkedin.com slash arvindatta. You can also check out uh, my webpage arvindatta.com for more information and reach out to me if you have uh, uh, any questions about product management. I wish you all the best in your journey of product management and uh, do check out all the other videos of uh, Product School. Thank you.